So this is such an underused trick of the Apple Watch, but did you know you can use your Apple Watch as a viewfinder for your iPhone's camera? Let's jump into it. Hey, welcome to the video. So firstly, you might be thinking, why would you wanna use your Apple Watch as a viewfinder for your iPhone? Well, here's three good reasons. Firstly, you can put your iPhone on a tripod or lean it against the wall, which means you can take a full group photo of your friends or family without getting the long selfie arm in the photo. The best part about this is that you can actually add a three second delay on the photo so you can all be ready for that perfect snap. To activate, simply open camera viewer on your Apple Watch. This will automatically open your iPhone's camera if it's not already open. On the bottom right, you have the option to add either a three second timer or change the camera to the front or the back. Now, simply tap the button to take a photo or hold it down to take a short video. So the second way I use this is actually for vlogging. Most people will vlog with the front facing camera on the iPhone, but did you know the cameras on the back of the iPhone are much higher quality? So you can vlog using the high quality cameras on the back of your iPhone and use the Apple Watch as a camera viewer to make sure you're in shot. Also, check out this hack. You can take off your Apple Watch, strap it to your iPhone, and then you've got a mini viewfinder on the back of your iPhone. Number three, if you use your iPhone to do any time-lapse photography or video, I'd recommend that you get a little tripod and then use the Apple Watch to start the time-lapse. That way you avoid any wobbles or shakes going into the iPhone's camera and ruining that perfect time-lapse. So I hope you enjoyed that quick tip for the Apple Watch. And if you did, remember we have a ton of Apple Watch tutorials on this channel. So why not check out this video coming up next.